What's going on? It's Tuesday, and you're doing time with Ron Kuby, the United States of America. Our whole country has invited a, an unlikely guest to this Fourth of July party. We'll tell you who it is in just a few minutes. And Dick Cheney is now in favor of gay marriage. Sort of, kind of, a little bit. We'll talk about that as well. And a 51-year-old woman guilt trips her kids into becoming armed robbers. But she's not all bad. She did offer them some coaching and guidance on how to pull it off before sending them out the door. Got to find out how she did that. I can't get my kid to go to the refrigerator and bring me a beer. So this is some pretty cool parenting. Um, after she gets out of prison, no doubt she'll end up appearing on Oprah. And who knows, may take the place of doctor, whoever, doing whatever. In the meantime, though, I, I, you know, I don't know how many of you remember making trips to the local drugstore with your film that you took in a like a regular camera. This was before digital. Does this bring back any memories at all to anybody? Everybody's shaking their heads. They remember this. Well, long ago, cameras had something called film in them, and you, and you would take pictures, and you'd have to get it developed. And, and, and one of the problems with doing that was sometimes you would take pictures of things that you didn't really want other people to see, like like your girlfriend or somebody else's girlfriend. Uh, and it was a real dilemma until until the Polaroid Corporation came up with the Polaroid Instant Camera, where, where you could take a picture and it would develop itself right at the same time. It was very cool. And it was a brave new era in, in softcore porn for, for young people around the globe. Alas, time marched forward, as, as it has a way of doing, into the digital age, and all of that technology is gone. And Polaroid indeed stopped making its, its instant um, camera and, and the film to go with it uh, last year. But now, a consortium of business people led by a Florian Caps, who is the direct, executive director of the Impossible Project, has decided that they are going to revive the art and use of Polaroid film by manufacturing a brand new version of the analog instant film. And Florian Caps joins us. Hey, Florian. Hey, hello. So, so tell me why. Uh, that's easy. I mean, you already answered this question, you know, in the, in the last couple of sentences you were mentioning. It's Polaroid is magic. You know, I cannot even describe it. There are so many feelings and you know memories attached to that, and it's the, the most um, uh, analog medium out there. So it's um, everybody has to shake a Polaroid picture when it comes out of the camera, and everybody remembers you know the good old times of the cameras. And um, still, there is this erotic component attached to that. The Polaroid really changed the behavior of the people taking photographs. It was really a revolutionary item, and for many, many years, it was the best-selling camera uh, all over the world. So this is nothing that, you know, it's ready to disappear forever. And um, the digital revolution, basically, first it looked like it would kill the whole Polaroid topic, but now it's really a, a big chance for Polaroid. It's like the vinyl record and the, the CD. The people remember the old records that you know the and at the same time and the same they remember the old Polaroid pictures with the crazy white frame coming out of the camera, you know, developing in the palm of the hand. This is some very unique and some very emotional product. And well, I, 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 I agree with you from the standpoint of nostalgia. I, I suspect that, that you're a, a little older than I am, and I am substantially older than most of the people I, I'm looking at. Um, but I remember the electric typewriter, and I have great fondness for my old little portable electric typewriter that got me through college. But, but there's no movement to bring back the typewriter. It, it just seems to me that everything that Polaroid can do can be done a thousand times better digitally. Um, not, not everything, you know. Um, this is exactly the point, um, that uh, when people writing um, um, letters on the computer and then printing it, nobody starts missing the good old typewriter because it was really very complicated. If you had one mistake, you had this little white thing to correct it, and you, you know every time it was, it was, it was really... 
uh, it's a, it's a, nobody misses it. But yeah, that's right. The white the out and all that. I'm remembering now. Yeah, yeah, but the digital cameras, the people somehow miss the good old times. What are they missing? For exactly, it doesn't cost anything to 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 push the trigger. So you make 1,000 pictures of every party and every occasion, and then you store them on your camera, and you never look at the pictures anymore. And when you look at them, they are boring. You know, they are all the same, one five hundred times the same faces. When you make a Polaroid picture, you know, okay, this is very expensive. So you think about what you're going to uh, shoot before you push the trigger. And then, you know, take out the picture very carefully. This is really a love relation to the picture. And you cannot compare it to, to anything that you can get uh, nowadays. And it's a lot of emotion connected with that. So it's, it's really still an adventure of doing it. So nothing, no digital camera can give you that. Sound oh, okay. alone. Do you remember the sound when it comes to the yes, camera? Yes, of course I remember the sound. I remember the sound, and I remember the anticipation of, of seeing your picture, my picture, slowly coming out of of, of the camera and, and, and taking its time as it, 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 and it first looked very blurry, and then it would come into to greater relief, and it was wonderful. Exactly, and you never know what the picture would look like before and in digital you exactly know because all the pictures look the same and you have this auto exposure uh, anti blur whatever the automatic flash every picture looks the same it's a perfect picture polaroid you know it's still this adventure of not knowing what the picture will look like and every time it's a thrill to see you know how it appears and then which color it will have these colors are not at all the colors that you know see with your eyes but it's an adventure and this is what the people are looking for. It's, everybody's bored by, you know, all the products looking the same, all digital cameras looking the same, and talking just about megapixel and whatever. Polaroid is this intense, very personal adventure that um, is unique, and also talking about the erotic aspect you mentioned. I mean, everybody knows now all these digital macro shots of whatever uh, details. Polaroid had this little storytelling, these this little blurred images of naked people or your girlfriend or whatever. It's not about details and hairs or whatever. It's really about um, fantasies and, and the first, you know, um, stories, erotic stories to tell. And this is all connected to Polaroid, and this will, will live on forever, hopefully. Well, hopefully you're right. It certainly is, is bringing me back, um, which probably isn't the best thing <laughs> under the circumstances. Uh, you'll be able to call this Polaroid. You bought the Polaroid machinery and you bought the trademark and everything? Um, this, is, this is still in progress. So there is, uh, maybe you have heard, uh, new owners um, who bought the Polaroid brand, I think, three weeks ago. So um, uh, we will, we will, we already have contacted them, and they are very much aware of, you know, the, the magic and the power connected to to the Polaroid brand. How this will look like in detail, we are still working on that. We are very um, optimistic that we will really present a very nice uh, product very soon that is, you know. Uh, connected to the whole world and the whole magic of Polaroid in the near future. Well, Florian Caps, um, he is the executive director of the Impossible Project, aiming to revive the art and use of Polar Polaroid film by manufacturing a new version of the analog instant film. You can find out more at the dash impossible dash project dot com. Florian Caps, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you very much. And uh, when when that film starts coming out, I'll start taking Polaroid pictures again. We'll put them up on the web. Right? You can do that. That'll be cool. No? People are shaking their heads. Ah, what you people miss, right? The erotica, the fantasy of the single snapshot. You guys don't remember that. You missed out on a lot there. Due in time, we'll be back.